just showed up. We're going to, you know what? We're going to learn how to eat an elephant today. Well, not exactly. We're going to learn how to, how would you eat an elephant? Okay, well, now that the question came up, would you just pick up the whole thing if you could possibly do that and just eat it all at once? No. Of course, you would eat it one bite at a time, right? Well, that's what we're going to apply. We're going to take that same philosophy and apply it to claw hammer, frailing, bum ditty banjo. They're all the same thing, okay? So, uh, and the reason we're doing that is, is I'm a bluegrass banjo player by trade, and, and, uh, and my brain knows when I put a banjo here on my, on my knee that we're fixing to get down, okay? And there's going to be stuff like this. And I'm worn out just thinking about that. But when you have that kind of mentality, to try and dummy down to claw hammer style. It's very, for me, it was very difficult. I, I was out on the, on the internet looking at YouTube videos and other videos, and, and, and those guys are trying to teach it all three parts at one time. And the normal person could probably pick that up. I couldn't pick it up to save my bazonios. So I applied the eat an elephant one bite of a uh, one bite at a time philosophy, and I broke the claw hammer process down into three elements, just three, and that and I did that, and you know what? I can feel the rhythm, and that to me is the key. If you can feel the rhythm in whatever kind of instrument you're playing, you're you're part way there. I'm I am a long way from proficient. But uh, I just wanted to get to the point where I could accompany myself. And I was, I'm a performing songwriter, and, and I, I wanted to sing with some with some uh, claw hammer banjo. And uh, so here we are. We're going to learn the claw hammer banjo, and we're going to start with the first element of that process. And I want you to grab a hold of your hand like that. I want it to look something like that, like you're grabbing something there, you know. And all right, you got that look. And then we're going to establish a power finger. I don't know, the way I establish it is either one of these two fingers, you're going to use the back side of the fingernail of either one of those two to hit strings. The one that gives you the most clarity is the finger that you want to use. It's going to be your power finger. For me, it was the index finger because the, the middle finger just didn't have it, but the index. finger works like a million bucks. So that's my power finger. So taking your hand and keeping your power finger in mind, I want you to just strum down across the strings. Come down across one, two, three strings, four strings. I don't give a rip. I'm hitting all three of them right now. The most important part of this process is my thumb is ending up on the top of the fifth string. This guy right here. My thumb is sitting right on top of it, okay? And it will become blatantly obvious why we're doing that here when we get around to step number two. For right now, I just want you to head on out of here, turn this video off, and go practice this thing about 1143 times, okay? And then when you come back, I'll be ready to show you step two, okay? Now, and also keep in mind, if you're in a house with people, one or more people, or you're in an apartment complex, with paper thin walls, you want to learn this thing right here. It's called a courtesy hush. Isn't that sweet? <laughs> Can you imagine having to listen to this if you didn't have any reason to listen to it for 1143 times? <laughs> It'd drive you up a wall. So use this courtesy hush. My cats are looking at me like I'm stupid. Oh, they're not my cats, they're my wife's cats. Like, what the heck is that guy talking about? Well, don't you worry about it. You need to remember, these are gut strings on this here banjo, so you hush. <laughs> All right, go practice. Cut this video off in like three, two, one. See ya. see you. That means that you're feeling comfortable with this, right? Yeah, you're feeling comfortable with the first bite of this three-bite elephant. <laughs> or a three-bite bum-diddy banjo, whatever, I don't know. <laughs> so now we're going to learn the 
second bite. You remember how I told you before that the most important thing was bringing that thumb down on top of that fifth string? And you're ready to learn why? Because we're going to take it off of there. What? Why did I put it there in the first place if I'm going to take it off? Boy, you need to hush, I'm telling you. Now you just pay attention here. <laughs> Alright, we're going to take it off. Alright, we're going to pull it away. You see that? We're just going to pull it away. I'm not pulling, I'm not pushing down hard and creating a big sound. I'm just pulling away. Because that sound that's made is part of the rhythm section of this process. Okay. So I want you to go out now and practice this thing 1143 times. Don't forget the courtesy hush. <laughs> Come in handy, I'm telling you. Alright, so turn this video off and come back and see me when you're done. So you're out of here. Three, two, one, see ya.